So early baby therapy can reduce autism diagnosis. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD and dyslexia and I make weekly videos all about this type of content. So if you're new around here and this is the first video of you're watching of mine, then make sure you hit that subscribe button by clicking the notification bell. And if you're watching on Facebook and Instagram, make sure to follow this page for daily videos. And I also do videos on TikTok. How cool is that? Right, guys. Oh my gosh. So yesterday, there's me flicking through Instagram and then like my friend says and Andy, uh, Indy Andy, who's a YouTuber and says, who's a YouTuber, says Francis, they're both autistic YouTubers and they both posted an article that was out by the Telegram or the Telegraph and it was also uh, on the BBC news website, which basically read this, right? It was one day ago. Early baby therapy could reduce autism diagnosis. And then one of the other articles is saying something like early parent intervention could reduce autism in kids. I'm thinking, what on earth is going on? So I had to dig deep. So basically what it is, there was a study published by JAMA pediatricians um, that followed like 130 uh, 9 to 14 month old babies in Australia. Now, they did something where the parents interacted with the baby um, to play with them to help in 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 induce like more eye contact and stuff like that. After they did this type of therapy, which I'm guessing is like an applied behavioral therapy, which is very, very controversial, um, it was said that um, only 7% met the criteria for diagnosing of autism after they um, did this therapy. Now, Okay, I mean, I'm going to leave a link down below so you can actually check out this study or check out this article, but let's just look at some of the things here. Okay, so first of all, therapy can help with autism. So if, you know, um, d you know, psychological intervention and other types of therapy can help with autism. ABA is a very controversial therapy that I'm going to do a video on, but I'm not fully in support of ABA, uh, uh, you know, because there are some really dark parts of ABA. Now, applying just um, this type of thing, like if you, if you, okay, let's think about this in general. Like, so if you apply therapy to babies, yes, you're going to improve their conditions. You're going to be able to get some, somewhat of a, an improvement uh, on, on some of their difficulties. But at the end of the day, autism is a neurological developmental condition, which means it's it's genetic. It's the way your brain has formed. It's not down to a behavioral pattern or a uh, or an intervention with your mother. Now, that's the first thing. That's the most important thing to realize that you can't fix neurological conditions with therapy uh, it just doesn't work like that. You know, you, you have to realize and understand that neurological developmental conditions never get cured. You know, that's rule number one. People say, can autism be cured? And the answer is no, you know, and there's all kinds of ethical things that come into it. Does it want to be cured? You know, would you be cured? All the kind of stuff. Anyway, regardless of that, the title early baby therapy could reduce autism diagnosis. I mean, that in itself is just a weird title. Like why would they even do that? You know, for a start, it's such a weird thing to put out, you know, why reduce autism diagnosis. Okay. But if you reduce an autism diagnosis, when that child grows up and they don't have an autism diagnosis, they're still dealing with those issues regardless of if they have a diagnosis or not, you know, but the difference is if they have a diagnosis, they get access to help and support. If they don't, they won't, which is really annoying. Now, the Telegraph actually came out with um, another title that said, autism can be prevented by teaching parents how to interact with their babies, study finds. Two thirds of cases could be solved via a video consultation showing how to interpret a child's all important early efforts to communicate. So they're trying to say that autism can be prevented by teaching parents to interact with their babies, study finds. Now, this, this is, uh, I mean, Oh my gosh, where do I go with this? If, you know, if you can reduce an autism diagnosis, it doesn't mean you cured autism. It doesn't mean that you can prevent autism. All it means is that the criteria for diagnosing someone on the autism spectrum has been lowered at that space in time, at that age bracket, because you've done something or followed a study in order to overcome certain things, kind of like masking, you know, where people will um, create um, uh, uh, tools and coping mechanisms on the autism spectrum to deal with daily life. It doesn't mean that they're any less struggling. It just means that they are fronting a normal or a neurotypical kind of environment for themselves. 
stuff like this is poisonous because it does two things for parents who are who, who are desperate and don't know anything about autism and they say oh your baby's autistic and you and they're like what I, I you know and they think it's a disease or something then this gives them really weird false hope that they can cure this disease that they, they may have which is completely utter rubbish um but also it can just drive them on a mental roller coaster which is crazy and the other part about it is that it just gives this weird kind of um, lack of context to what autism is. It, it kind of basically says that because your parents didn't do a certain thing with you when you were a kid, you're just you're, you're you're on the autism spectrum. It doesn't validate the fact that it's a neurological condition and it's a lifelong developmental condition with issues. It just thinks it's behaviour thing. So a lot of articles like this are going to be very damaging because it's going to make people look at people on the autism spectrum and think, oh, a person's just being an idiot because they didn't get enough attention when they were a kid it's just a behavioral thing they need to kind of straighten it out maybe the army will sort it out or or, or more you know authority and stuff really weird really creepy i'm not happy about this kind of stuff especially not happy with the bbc kind of coming out with it um the national autistic society said the study had a number of limitations which is interesting it said that autism is not a disease and not something that should be or could be cured um or lessened um that was from uh, tim nicholas who's the head of policy in the national autistic society um you know, there's a lot going on here. I mean, I just, you know, with everything going on with the Spectrum 10K stuff, which I'm going to do a video on later, and then it's just, it's just weird. It's just very weird. Anyway, guys, I'm going to... I'm Yeah. All right. Make sure you subscribe because part two of this video is me talking about Spectrum 10K, which I'm going to release, and it will be out on Sunday. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to know your thoughts on it, so pop it in a comment down below. Let me know um, what you think about this article, if you've read it. If you, after you do read it, come back and leave me a comment. I want to know because this is just... It's weird, it's weird, it's weird. All right, speaking of it.